You can tour a historically important city like Rome, Italy, the traditional way. Get on a large bus, spend six or so hours seeing a few of the important sites as the guide goes on and on spewing historical facts at you. Or you can choose to do a new trend in city tours, themed tours. I'm going to explain to you what I see as three different types of theme tours and show you why you'll have a better experience exploring cities like Rome by doing a theme tour. A food themed walking tour, in my opinion, is the best way to start understanding a city. The tour is hosted by a local who wants to share their culture with you like our amazing guide Nadia did. She began our tour at La Nicia Cafe where she taught us the basics of Roman food scrumptious bread, olive oils, thus pestos, balsamic vinegar, and ham or prosciutto. All of this was served with amazing wines or prosecco. Our second stop was the famous Bonsi Pizzorium, where Nadia showed us how Romans used traditional Roman ingredients and turned it into Roman pizza. At Bonsi, we enjoyed amazing pizza. The toppings ranged from fresh anchovies to pepperonis to chicory. And the crust. Oh, yum. We continued our learning at our third stop, B Ray. Here, Nadia taught us about traditional Roman second courses, which are your heavy meat based dishes. But here, these dishes are served wrapped in a soft pizza dough, turning it into hand food. To wash down these amazing trapezoni, we were offered a variety of Roman beers. You cannot end a food tour in Rome without enjoying a truly Italian dish of pasta. At Al Gardino, we were offered homemade red or cream sauce served over made daily homemade pasta. We finished our scrumptious tour with tiramisu. So yum. If you're finding this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I have more videos coming about our adventures in Italy and Greece and you don't want to miss them. Another type of theme tour can be based off a book, a movie, or historical important person. We took a tour called Angels and Demons. Our tour followed the storyline of the book called Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. The book provided the structure for our tour, but our local guide wove in historical and cultural information about Rome and the Romans into each stop on our tour. Our tour began at Church of Santa Maria della Victoria, the third stop actually in the book. Our guide used this location as a basis to explain the Roman architecture and the importance of artists such as Bernini to Roman history. As we walked to our second stop in the book, our guide showed us fountains along the way, such as the Medici Fountain and the Trevi Fountain. She also explained the influence of the Medici family on Rome. Once we reached the Parthenon, the first stop in the book, we learned about the architectural genius that was needed to build the dome and the slanted floors. She showed us how Romans reused and built on top of structures throughout their history to create more elaborate structures. She also explained here the importance of Emperor Hadrian in the history of Rome. Our third stop on the tour was the Piazza Navonia, where we saw the Fountain of the Four Rivers. At this stop, we learned more about the lives and feuds of the artists, such as Bernini and Borromini. Our guide described the social lives of Romans, such as chariot races, since the piazza used to be a social gathering place for games and races. If you're wanting more information about these tours or any of our other adventures, just open up the comment section below this video. Our final stop was at St. Peter's Square. Here we learned the history and geography of the Vatican City. We also discovered Bermini's design of the square is actually an optical illusion. Finally, our guide described the importance of the buildings around the square, such as the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica to us. The final type of theme tour is what I call a hybrid tour and usually is named a hop on hop off tour. This tour works like a traditional city tour and that takes you to all the must see attractions, but it also combines the flexibility of regular public transportation. You're provided earphones where you can listen to the description of all the attractions as you ride the bus. The difference between a traditional tour is that you choose when you get on or off the bus. Thus, you have control of which locations you want to explore more in depth. Or you can choose to just ride the whole circuit listening to the guide's explanation. 
You can also choose to use the buses as transportation since they run several hours a day. You get to create your own tour when you do a hybrid tour. Choosing a themed tour while visiting cities like Rome, Italy provides more flexibility in your touring experience. Plus, I find them just more fun.